Daniel and Lucy are at Moxie Motors to buy a vehicle. Our salesperson, Luke, begins the sale by asking an important question to his prospect. My boss wants me accountable to your needs. Can you give me some insight as to what I should do to understand your buying priorities? Aw, oh, sure dude. That sounds great. Very good then. I will give you this tablet. Please place the following four actions in order of preference. The prospect begins to identify what the salesperson should focus on in order of priority, moving the top preferences to the number one spot and the least preferential to the bottom spot. Now the salesperson has a profile on how he should approach the sale, and so his training in buying preferences gets put into action. The salesperson also gets Daniel's partner Lucy to do the survey as well. A couple can have different buying preferences. Individual snaps of the couple's presence at Moxie Motors and it's time to go to work. Meanwhile, while that is happening, the sales manager Joe is reviewing the buying preferences of our prospect couple in question. On Moxie's buying preferences manager, the sales manager can review information sent from the tablet survey. Important information such as the prospect's name, what they look like, who is the primary buyer, what is a rundown on their buying preferences, what vehicles are they looking for on the lot. The buying preference reveals the stronger influencer in the sale. Lucy shows she wants to deal soon, or leave. Whereas Daniel may drag out the buying experience, as he is a pamphlet seeker. Joe can now send Luke important information on what to do next, virtually touching desk. Luke gets an alert from Joe on his tablet. Joe is now coaching Luke on buying premises and next steps. Luke can now continue with the sale with some important insights about Daniel and Lucy. Luke has to strike a balance. His experience and the extra advantage of buying preferences at hand will certainly get him closer to finishing the sale today. Good luck, Luke. Buying preferences are designed to help salespeople and sales managers understand their prospects' buying motivation. So, why is buying preferences so important, you ask? Number one, customers prefer to be sold. If a customer engages with you, it's because they choose to, no matter what resistance they put up. Number two, customers prefer to consume information. Some need to get their data on before they decide. Number three, customers are motivated to make decisions. We just need to know the pathway to that ultimate decision. Number four, couples are conflicted in their buying preferences. This is not new. Finding this out right away just got easier. Number five, statistical probability of closing. Buying preferences will reveal the statistical probability whether the sale is going to happen today or tomorrow. And finally, number six, people are complex stressed and revealing. There's more to people than just buying preferences. However, buying is stressful. When people are stressed, they invariably invoke their primary instincts or buying preferences.